Hey, welcome. We're going to do another reformer full body workout today. My name is Melanie. If you're looking for Rebecca, she's on vacation today. We're going to start off with three red springs and one blue spring or three heavy springs and one light spring. So headrest will go up. You're going to lie flat on your back and we're going to start by placing the balls of the feet on the foot bar. Your arms will be long by your sides, rib cage down, have just a little bit of breathing room between your shoulders and the shoulder blocks, balls of the feet on the foot bar, heels go high, feet in parallel, big breath in, exhale, press the carriage away. Big inhale, return slowly with control. Big exhale, push away. Big inhale, bring it all the way home. Heels stay lifted the whole time you're moving. And if this spring load is a little too heavy for you, you can take off the blue spring, take off a red spring, anything you need to do, go for it. Good, so what we're doing here is we're feeling lots of warming up through the feet, through the calves, through the hamstrings, through the glutes, even a little bit through the quads here, but really try to focus on the back line of the leg. Good, two more. And once again, make sure the bottom of your ribs is staying in contact with the mat. So if you're pressing that rib cage up and you can place fingers underneath your ribs, you really wanna make sure they're making full contact. Next time you press out, extend the legs straight. You're gonna slowly lower the feet under the foot bar. Exhale, raise them right back up. So what I don't want you to see is like popping and using momentum to pull you up. I really wanna feel you resist the springs and resist on the way up. So full control on the way down, full control on the way up. Inhale as you lower the the heels under the foot bar, exhale as you raise them back up. Good, let's go for six, five, four, working all the way through the feet. I don't know if you can hear this on mic, but my ankles are popping like popcorn. <laughs> And this should be the last one. Raise the heels up, we're gonna go for a run. One heel under the foot bar, other heel under. So you should be feeling like the accent is up rather than down. So you wanna really feel that pop here. So you should be feeling some heat through the lower legs, heat through the quads, especially around the kneecap. Definitely a stretch through the calf. Let's take double pulse on one side, exhale, press up. Double pulse on the other, exhale up. And this whole series should be good for anywhere from intermediate to beginners. I'll give you modifications along the way to make this easier or harder. Next time you hit that left side, we're gonna hang out in that calf stretch. If you wanna intensify this, you can hook the top of the right foot under the foot bar and pull it forward, or you can leave that ball of the foot on the foot bar. Extend both legs, go for the other side. Feel that stretch once again if you want to intensify it with that left foot hook go for it otherwise leave that left foot placed where it is big breath in exhale press it out and bring the carriage all the way home let's bring the balls of the feet to the outer corner so it's like we are in pyramid position but the heels are raised in this situation so ribs are down big breath in exhale we're going to extend out keep the heels lifted as you bring it right back in so I think a lot of people think about footwork as being kind of compulsory, but I really love it. I think it's one of the most useful, comprehensive pieces of the Pilates repertoire. But I love it because it's such a complete full body core workout. It really gets everything. So just like we are in this releve second position, if you're familiar with ballet terms, keeping the knees wide, external rotation through the hips, Next time you press out, we're gonna take a prance. You're gonna lower one heel under the foot bar, raise it back up. Other heel under the foot bar, raise it back up, maintaining that external rotation the whole time. So just as we were pressing under with control in that parallel position, we're really maintaining control on the way down and on the way up. If the spring load is feeling like a little too much, you can most certainly peel off some springs here. Making sure you're breathing. Good, last set. Lift both heels up, keep the heels lifted as you exhale, bring it all the way home. Very good. Next, we're gonna roll up. We're gonna switch to one red, one blue spring. So we're gonna take two reds off, or one heavy, one light. You're gonna rest your head back down on the headrest. 
the ball of the left foot will stay on the football. You're gonna extend your right leg over. So the heel on that left side will stay lifted. You're gonna exhale, bring that right leg to tabletop. Inhale, you're gonna lower the leg under the foot bar as you come back in. So that right leg extends, goes under. Inhale, knee in toward your chest. Exhale, extend it right back over the foot bar. So each time you come in, leg to tabletop, and you're going to switch the position, whether it's going under the foot bar or over. So tabletop, under, tabletop, over. So this one's a little bit of a, a brain teaser as well. Tabletop, over. Good, one more time. Tabletop, under, making sure that pelvis is staying really stable. Good, next time you're there, you're gonna extend the leg up to 90 degrees, lower it back under the foot bar. So that left heel is staying lifted, right leg is staying super engaged, hips really steady on the mat, so you're not rocking to one side or to the other. Ribs are staying down, still using that breath. Good, two more. And one, you're gonna stay extended out. You're gonna take a small circle to the outside, back up to 90, reverse it. Down, out, around, and up, reverse. Out to the side, down, and up. Reverse, down, out, and over to the side. So really trying to keep your hips really stable. I only want you taking this circle as wide as you can without rocking the hips over to the side. If you feel like your hips are starting to peel off, really want you to begin to really <laughs> compress the size of that circle. Last one. Good, big breath in, exhale, lower that foot to the foot bar, bend the knees and bring it right back in. Feet as wide as your hips, we're gonna go for the other side. So now, right foot is on the foot bar, right heel lifted. We're gonna extend that left leg over the foot bar, leg really straight. Big breath in, exhale, bring the knee into tabletop as you extend that right leg. Bring the foot under the foot bar as you draw the carriage home. Knee to tabletop. Extend it over as you return. Knee to tabletop, extend it under. So you may feel like as you're bringing that left knee in, the hips might wanna rock, the pelvis might wanna rock over to the left. Really focus on keeping that balance. Nice even pressure through that right leg as well. If you start to feel like you're getting a cramp in either foot, on that right foot you can bring the arch of the foot to the foot bar. And on the left foot, you're also welcome to flex the foot if that feels more comfortable to you. I prefer an extension because you get a little bit more uh, work through the calf here, but do whatever feels comfortable to you. It's, it's not a contest. Good, last one. Good, bring that leg over. Now, keeping that right heel raised, if that's comfortable, you're gonna extend the leg to 90 degrees, lower it back down, left leg stays straight as that right leg bends and extends. Exhale as you extend, lift the leg to 90. Inhale as you bring it down, good. Two more. And last one, next time you come up, you're gonna bring that leg to 90. Small circles to the outside and back to 90. Reversing directions, alternating sides. Once again, keeping that circle only as wide as you can while keeping the pelvis really steady and stable. So if you feel like you're rocking, make the size of the circle smaller. You can also think about putting a little bit more pressure in that opposing hip if you need to. Good, it's getting very challenging for me. And back up to 90, big breath in, exhale, lower the leg down, bend the knees, keep the heels lifted, bring it all the way in. Place your calves on the foot bar. Let's just rock them side to side. Give yourself a little calf massage here. Really roll it out, I just snorted. <laughs> Good times. And once you have had enough of this, which I feel like I never can, you're gonna roll on up to sitting and we're gonna reset for the next exercise. So next we're gonna load on either two heavy springs or one heavy, one light. So it's gonna be two reds for a more moderate exercise, or you can keep on that one red, one blue. You're gonna lower the headrest, it's very important. Come to lying back down on the machine. Feet will be hip distance apart, arches of the feet on the foot bar. Roll the collarbone wide, we're gonna begin with bridges. So for this one, it's really important that 
you keep the carriage as still as possible for starters. So collarbone wide, ribs down. Big breath in, exhale. You're gonna peel the tailbone up off the mat, roll your pelvis up, and you're gonna find this nice diagonal line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. Big breath in, exhale, roll it down slowly with control. So the lighter your spring load here is, the harder this is gonna be on your hamstrings, on your calves, on your butt, <laughs> and roll it down. So you really should be fighting hard to keep that carriage really still. Big breath in, exhale, roll it up. Feel like you're peeling one vertebra off, off the mat. Get a sense of if you are favoring one side or the other. Maybe your pelvis is rocking to the right more than to the left. Try to put a little bit more pressure into that less supported side if you need to. Next time you find that bridge, you're gonna extend the legs along. Big breath in, exhale, draw it in slowly with control. Think about your knees going in an upward diagonal. Exhale, you're gonna lower the pelvis down. Inhale, think about that diagonal movement, okay? Big breath in, exhale. Lift the pelvic floor. And maybe try to close the carriage a little bit more gracefully than I have been. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. Oh, good. Two more. And last one, keeping that belly nice and flat and firm. Good, big breath in, exhale, roll the spine down one vertebra at a time. Let the stopper close if it hasn't already. Feet as wide as your foot bar, rock the knees side to side really fast. Releasing that low back, releasing through the hips. And if you are not on one red, one blue, rolling up, we're gonna switch back over to that. Or if you like a little more uh, resistance through the legs, you can go for two reds. You're gonna reach back, find those straps, wherever they may be. Mine are God knows where. Okay, come on, okay, there we go. Arms up over your shoulders. We're going to bring the legs to tabletop. For this one, if you want a little bit of a harder variation at any time, you can extend the legs out to 45. Also completely fine. So your knees will be aligned right over your hips. Your shins will be parallel to the ceiling. Pull the uh, straps a little bit inward so that your hands are right over your shoulders and the stopper is away, the carriage is away from the stopper. Big breath in, exhale. You're gonna lower the palms down. Flip the palms to face your hips. Bring the arms out to a T and back up over your shoulders. Big breath in, exhale. Flip the palms into your hips. Bring them out to a T. Back up over your shoulders. So once again, you can take one leg out, alternating sides, or you can take both legs out, alternating sides. You can hold them there or you know, bring them in each time you extend. Those are options for you to kick this up a notch. So you should be feeling a lot of work through your back, through your arms, specifically through your triceps. Good, just getting mobility through the shoulder. Good, now we're gonna reverse. Press the palms down to the bed, bring them up over your shoulders, flip them out to a T, press the palms in toward your hips. This is where it gets a little tricky, finding that squeeze and bring it back up over the shoulders. Good. I really like this one for back support and stability. It was really good to me for that reason. Good, two more. And back out. Very nice. You're gonna keep the palms hovered above the bed. Elbows off, we're gonna bend and extend the elbows. So we're squeezing the elbows in toward the rib cage, pressing the palms up over the elbows, exhale, extending. You can bring the head up, finding a deep curl if you like, if that feels good to you. You can also extend alternating legs if you like, or keep them both out to 45 degrees or below if that feels good to you. I'm gonna keep them in tabletop for a more beginner, uh, moderate intensity variation here. Good. We're gonna take five more. This is four. Hopefully you're feeling this through the back of your arms here. And last two. And one. Good, lower the feet down, reset. You're gonna find a little bit of space between your shoulders and between the shoulder blocks. You're gonna take both straps in your hands. I'm gonna go for a little lower abs now. Fold those straps up over each other. So you've got this little loop here. 
You're going to grab one hand over the other, so you've got a nice solid grip. Take the carriage away from the stopper, bring your legs into a diamond or a frog position. You're going to take a big breath in, exhale, push your hands through and lower down. If that one red, one blue is a little heavy for you, you can come up and take off the blue. I'm actually going to do that today. One red is feeling better for me right now. And we're going to take a big breath and exhale, press through and lower down. Just make sure you're not yanking with momentum. If you feel like you're losing the tension in those ropes at any time, slow it down, focus on control, or maybe even add a little more spring resistance. You can add a yellow. If that one red, one blue is too much, you can do one red, one yellow. Good. Pause there. We're going to hold the arms straight. Pulse the hips up for 10, 9, keeping the feet flexed, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower it down. Take the straps out of the hands. If you flipped onto a single spring, we're going to put one red, one blue on once again or two reds, if you prefer, a little more resistance. And we're gonna flip those straps to go right onto the arches of your feet. Why can't I keep track of my straps today? That's why, I'm looking on the wrong side. Okay. So we're gonna place the arches into the straps, extend the legs long, find a little bit of space between your shoulders and the shoulder blocks. I'm gonna fix my hair quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice turnout position. So we're going to start in this nice 90 degree position. If you need to not flex the hips so much, that's fine. We're going to begin with basic uh, circles. So you're going to take the legs wide, draw the legs down around heels together and back up to 90 degrees. So open the legs out, down around and up. So you're keeping that external rotation through the hips, so your knees are pointing slightly outward. And I'm going to take one more in this direction and flip it to the other direction. Okay, and reverse. Legs down, open, out around and up. Legs down, open, out around and up. Legs down, open, out, around, and up. Legs down, open, out, around, and up. Very nice. So what we're going to do now is big straddle. So you're going to let the legs float really wide, as wide as you comfortably can. Flex the feet, bring the legs together, point the feet, open them wide. Still in that external rotation. Flex the feet, draw the legs together at 45 or slightly below, point the feet. Draw them just a little bit wider. Good. Exhale, press, point, open wide. Try to keep the legs roughly at the same height the whole time. Good. Two more. And wide. Point and open. In that comfortable straddle position, we're going to take small circles now for six, five, any direction is fine. Three, because we're going to reverse it in one. Reverse direction, six, five. Wow, this is really hard at the end range of motion. Four, three, two, and one. Flex the feet, draw them together. Bring the soles of the feet together. Knees wide in your butterfly position. Hold on to the ropes. Oh, let your legs relax down. That one was tough. And just move around in this for a minute. Breathing through, stretch out those inner thighs. I like to dip my feet up and down sometimes to kind of floss this one a little bit. Good. All right, we're going to take those straps off of the arches of the feet and we're going to move on. All right, next up, we're going to do some of my favorite arm and upper body stuff. So we're going to take the right strap in the right hand. I have one blue spring on the machine. You could also do one yellow if you want a little less which is a, a extra light spring, blue is light, or you could go for a red spring. So I'm gonna come up onto my knees, kneeling really tall, so my shoulders are square, my hips are really even. I'm gonna take that 
strap now into my left hand. Right hand will be on my hip. And without moving anything in this box, what I'm gonna do is draw a sword. Elbow comes up, extend the arm out, bend the elbow, bring the hand down, and lower that palm. So I'm not shifting anything in my weight to get this hand up, that is an injury waiting to happen. Keeping this super even, and that palm is flipping to face forward every time I extend that arm up. Good. Also not popping the rib cage out and keeping that super even, feeling all those muscles that support my shoulder blade, really driving this movement. Good. You can also relax that right arm forward if that feels better. Now, what we're gonna do is extend the arm up, take a twist, and bring it right back. So I'm keeping that elbow pretty high, and I'm just taking that hand back behind the torso. So what this is doing is this is getting a lot more of those supporting muscles in that shoulder blade, around that shoulder blade. Go ahead, and we're gonna take two more. And last one. Exhale, extend. Take that arm back. Oy. Now what we're gonna do is flip that palm, flip that strap into that right palm. I'm gonna shimmy away from the shoulder blocks just a few inches. I'm gonna co go to hug a tree. So your palm is gonna flip to face your other palm. Elbows are really high and wide, so it's like you're about to hold a huge uh, laundry basket or something. <sighs> Exhale, push the fingertips together, open really wide. Not so the elbows go behind the body. You want everything to stay in front of the shoulders. So this one is really firing up all of those frontal shoulder muscles, your pecs. Once again, make sure that alignment is staying really even through your shoulders, through your hips. Good. We're gonna go for four more. And you may feel like it's really hard to stay even. That's part of the challenge here. Even pressure through the knees. No rocking through the hips, no rocking through the shoulders, or at least doing your best. Good. All right, we're gonna drop that strap, go on to the other side. So I'm gonna turn around, knees right up against the shoulder block to start. And what we're gonna do is take that strap into your right palm next. Hand goes right next to the hip. Left hand can be on your hip or down below. We're gonna lift the elbow up, extend on an upward diagonal. Keep the elbow high as you bend the arm. Place that sword right back in its sheath. Exhale, extend out. Inhale, return. So what is not optimal is using resistance to try to get that up. This is not about how many reps you can do. This is about how much muscle control and activation you feel. One more, just like this, and bring it right back in. Now what we're gonna do is lift the elbow up, extend the arm out, open the arm out to the back, and return. So if you're feeling this in your traps, you can lighten the spring. You can lower the height of the arm a little bit. If you're lifting the shoulder as you lift the elbow, that can be another culprit. Oh, I'm losing steam on this side. I guess my right side is my weak side today. Oh boy, oh, that's really tough. Good, now we're gonna flip that strap onto the left hand. Palms will come to face forward. You're gonna lift the elbows. Your shoulders should be higher than your wrists, which, which <laughs> your shoulders should be higher than your elbow, which should be higher than your wrist. Keeping everything really square. Big breath and exhale, fingertips come to meet each other. Inhale, bring it right back in. Good. Think about holding that huge laundry basket or that really big beach ball or pumpkin. Make sure you're not leaning forward with your upper back. Bring that rib cage down toward your pelvis and shoulders stacked right over hips. Good. Let's do one more. And lower it down. I'm closing the carriage really noisily today. Drop that strap and we're gonna move on. All right, I just flipped to one red spring. We're gonna do a little bit more for back and upper body. I'm feeling that, that vibe for the rest of this class. So we're gonna come on to our knees. Toes will be curled under, knees are right up against the shoulder blocks. You're gonna reach forward, grab the straps in front of you. And what I'd like for you to do is grab uh, up 
on the ropes right above the hardware. I like to make bracelets and uh, thread my hands through the loops here. You can do whatever you want. You're gonna lift your hips up. So you're standing pretty tall. If it's more comfortable for you to stay seated, that's fine. But let's go for a little ab challenge. So arms will be really long. Big breath in, keep that torso stacked. You're gonna exhale, push the palms back, feeling the shoulder blades squeeze together behind you, super important. Inhale, relax and release without collapsing the collarbone. So posture is really tall and wide. Chin is tucked, big breath in, exhale. Pull those straps and bring it right back together. Good. Big breath in, exhale. If you're feeling gripping in your upper traps, think about the shoulder blades squeezing down and together like you're trying to shove them into the opposite back pocket. That's maybe a good visualization for you to think about. Another thing that I just caught myself doing, as you press those palms back, make sure you're not popping the rib gauge forward. You really wanna keep the ribs oriented down toward your pelvis as you press those palms back. Good, a couple more. Let's go for two. And one, press back. You're gonna look over your right shoulder, back to center, over your left shoulder, back to center, and lower down. Now you can bring your, your butt down to your heels. You can hinge forward on your hips a little bit without curving, really like for you to keep that nice, long flat back. We're gonna extend the arms back. We're gonna go for tricep extensions, really firing up the back of the arms today. Good, so bend and extend the elbows. They should be really hugged pretty closely to your rib cage. This red spring is a little too intense for you today. You can go back down to a blue, totally fine. Okay, let's keep it going for five, four, last three, final two, and one. Very nice, okay. We're gonna bring that carriage back to the stopper slowly, carefully, with a little control, and we're gonna go for a bicep curl. So come to sitting on your butt. You're gonna extend the legs forward. You can cross them at the ankle if that's better for you. You wanna make sure you've got about a hand distance away from the back of the machine. You're gonna have your hands on the strap, start sitting up really tall, and we're gonna find a curl. I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit more. You're gonna find a curl, palms slip to face forward. So you're gonna think about that deep C curve, like someone's pushing your belly button down toward the mat. Big breath in, exhale, and draw the hands in toward your nose and back. So if you'd like a little bit more abs, find a deeper curl, whatever feels good to you. If that's too much too, you can also keep this in a nice upright position. Just make sure you're not tucking your tailbone underneath if you're going for that option. So we're gonna keep going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keeping those elbows lifted. Make sure they're not drifting down here. Good, last three. Make sure your palms are still facing your nose. Collarbone is still as wide as you can get it. And fold over your legs, bringing the courage. Noisy, back to its stopper. Good, all right, roll back up to sitting. We're gonna go for some diagonal tees here. So you're gonna start with the palms flipped to face each other. You're gonna find a deep curl. What you're gonna do is turn toward your left, open up on this really wide diagonal, big breath in, draw it back to center. Rotate to the other side without lifting your hip. Open up to that T, you should be feeling lots of back, lots of shoulder, lots of arms, back to center. Rotate to left, both hips really even on the mat, back to center. Exhale, rotate, bring it wide, back to center. Feeling a little bit of serratus as well. I haven't done this one in a while. This is really pretty tough for me too. If you need to bring it down to a, a blue spring, feel free to do that. I'm gonna go for one more. Other side. Good, really nice. Back to center. Draw it back home. Close the carriage. Fold over the legs. 
and place those straps down by the outside of the machine. All right, let's just finish up with a little mermaid. I'm tired, you might be tired too. We're gonna bring the legs into kind of a V or diamond position, excuse me. So your right shin will be up against the shoulder blocks. Your hips should be pretty steady and even on the mat. Left hand will be centered on the foot bar, still on one red spring. Right arm goes down to the side. You're gonna take a big breath in, exhale. Push away on that left arm, keeping the shoulder away from the ear. Flip the top palm to face the floor, keeping that left right hip pointed down, excuse me. Inhale, bring it right back up slowly with control. So keeping this nice kind of soft elbow on the right side, big breath in, exhale. Hips stay even, reach up and over. <sighs> big breath in, exhale. Bring it back, you should feel some nice stretch along the side body on the right, low back. Shoulders stay down. This feels really nice. Good, next time you come up, bring everything back to center. You're gonna turn around, go for the other side. So, left shin goes up against the, foot, the shoulder blocks. Right hand is centered on the foot bar. Keeping that left hip pretty heavy. Left arm down, big breath in. Exhale, reach up and over, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Oh, feel that nice long stretch along the left side of your torso. Big breath in, exhale. Bring it right back to starting. Good, a few more times. Big breath in without lifting that left hip up, keeping that really planted on the mat. That's what gets you that stretch along the left side. Inhale, bring it back. Good, a few more times, a couple more times. Ribs are still down, not splaying through the rib cage. Keeping your shoulder blade tucked into its pocket. <sighs> Breathing through all of this. Big breath in. <sighs> Exhale, release. Get the last little bit of juice out of this. Big inhale. Draw it up to starting, close the carriage, and you are done. Thank you so much. Please like this video, it helps me so much. Subscribe, uh, leave me a comment. I wanna know what you thought about this, what else you wanna see. And for those of you who are wondering where Rebecca is and when she'll return, she'll be back with us soon. So um, please come back, I'll see you soon. All right, happy new year, guys, bye.